Hey guys, you're watching Z1 and Only. My name is AJ, and this is lesson three of School of Redstone. And in this lesson, we're going to learn about the T flip flop. So you might have heard of this um, gate. It is technically a logic gate that we learnt about in the last lesson, but it's a more commonly used one. Uh, so common that it has a distinctive name. And uh, basically, a T flip flop. Uh, the easiest way to explain it is a button temporarily turns the redstone signal on uh, and then will automatically shut it back off. So here is the T flip-flop and I'm going to show you how to build it in a second. But basically if I push the button the redstone signal is turned off permanently. And if I push the button again the redstone signal is turned on permanently. So technically it, it, in some respects it makes a button into a lever, but this isn't the only use for a T flip flop. The proper use for a T flip flop, which we'll see later, is it turns uh, a button into multiple inputs. So we could have two or three or four or ten buttons that all open the same thing, and you can't do that with a lever. Um, if I quickly set up what I mean with a lever here, if we put two levers down and then hook them up via redstone to a piston, now if I turn this one on it makes the piston work and if I turn this one on it makes the piston work. Let's just get that the right way round so it's easy to explain. But if I have one on and then turn the other one off or on it, it doesn't affect the piston at all but with the T flip flop you are able to change the output de uh, depending on which input that you've chosen so I'll explain that in a second but to make a T flip flop it is very simple we just have two pistons set up facing each other we dig one block down and put a redstone torch there now I use a diamond block just so it's easy to show, but we know that when a block is placed above a redstone torch, the block is then charged. So if we put an output here, we can see it's on. But when we remove the block, because this torch isn't powering the redstone, the signal isn't turned on. But as soon as there's power going to a block above it, the redstone is then turned on. So then to hook this up to each other it is simply two blocks above it, a redstone torch on both sides connected with redstone and that's all it is, it is as simple as that and if we put the button here we push the button which powers the redstone which turns the torches off temporarily switching the pistons round so we see the lights go off the pistons then move and the torches come back on we press it again the torches go off, it switches, and the torches come back on. Now the strange thing is if I remove this block, we can actually see what's happening and it, it happens at the same time. If we switch it, now on the Xbox here we do have a little bit of lag with pistons, there is a little bit of trouble, but it, it works. So that's all that's happening, they actually should go off, they should pull apart at the same rate and then go together at the same time. So. Um, because of Xbox lag this piston doesn't actually work as quick but for some reason unknown to everybody <laughs> when we put a block in the middle and then use it the block is then switched it's just something that is in the game so here we have it hooked up to an output to explain a little bit simpler or a little bit easier we push the button the piston goes down we push the button it comes up so, oh, uh, and this one very quickly, I was asked if there was any way to make a switch one use. So, if I press this button, I can't use it again. And this is simply, it's a sort of a miniature T flip-flop, if you like, uh, using the principles of it. So, the torch isn't powering the redstone, but when the block goes above it, it powers the redstone, powering, powering the piston to keep the diamond block out so if I show you we push the button it then lights up this powering the piston 
So now we can't turn this off. No matter how many times we press this button, the switch is now turned permanently on. So that's how you make a one-time switch. And uh, then to reset it, which we'll learn about in the next episode, um, you can just put a, a piece of redstone there. But we'll learn how to properly reset a memory cell, if you like, because that's what this is. This is a, a very basic memory cell. But... Uh, T flip-flops as I mentioned earlier can have more than one input so if you imagine all of this was underground and this was the entrance to your base you can have a button to open the door and then you get in and then you can have a button on the inside of your house to shut it so we can open it and shut it both from the inside or we can open it we can get out of the house and then shut it from the outside so, if I go down here, this is our T flip flop. I'm stuck. If I can run this side, I might be able to help a little bit better. But here is the T flip flop. And we've got our inputs on the top. As before, we had the button here. Uh, instead, we've got the input coming out. So, the input comes out in both directions. And I made it symmetrical so it's a little bit more easy to understand. But these inputs then come round up the blocks and to the back of the button. And then our output comes from the torch like normal. Where before we had it to a piston, it now comes up and goes to the door. So when we push the button, the T flip flop then switches, opening the door. And then when we shut it, the T flip flop comes back. And it can be done by both sides all right uh, to explain again that it's different to a lever if we use a lever it, it doesn't work or oh, it works if we then come on this side and uh, if we now go through see it doesn't shut the door if we go back out the door will now shut if we go back down again no it see it they just don't work with levers um, that's why the buttons make it much more easy and that's why in general buttons are a lot better than levers because you can do a lot more with them um, so yeah I should explain we should build one more T flip flop so you don't have to search back in the video simply two pistons you dig down one redstone torch below it the block to be powered the output, wherever the output may be, and then link them up by two blocks on top. A torch on each side connected to redstone. And then we can have our input however far away we want it. So we could go all the way over here, hooked up to a button, redstone line goes across. And even if you had it so far away that the redstone wouldn't reach, we know that we can just use a repeater and hook it up. And then all the way from back here, we can then use a button to turn on and off. We can even have it going this way. I'll just break that so it doesn't mess that up button input and we can split off in this direction have button and input so if I push this button the piston goes down if I push it again the piston goes up and again it goes down I can go to this one piston goes up piston goes down piston goes up so I can now have that switch turning on and then this switch turning it off like that and then go back all the way over to this side and turn it on and it goes back up so these are really useful as soon as you know how to use a T flip flop you'll be able to use it in many different builds and as we get further and further uh, into this redstone school we will start to learn practical uses and stringing multiple logic gates together and mo multiple other 
um, redstone stuff uh, to create some builds. So that's another one that you now know. Uh, I can delete this now. And yeah, that that's about it for this one. That's the T flip flop. And uh, if you liked it, please subscribe as we're watching the sunset. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and as I say every lesson, if you have a question that you want answered about redstone, if you don't know how to do something or you're stuck on something that you're trying to build, if you leave me a comment, I will be able to fix it for you, and if it's a problem that many people, or I feel that many people are going to come across, I'll even turn it into a full length lesson explaining about it. So, thank you very much guys, and bye!